So recently I found myself enjoying Battlefield again. I've been a fan of the series since Bad Company came out, and for me, 2042's performance at launch felt like a slap in the face to pretty much all the fans. It didn't really feel like a traditional Battlefield game, and it kind of felt like a knockoff brand got their hands on the original IP and decided to make something completely different. Maybe it's because over recent years with games coming out, we've seen that hero rosters and games grow and succeed. Games like Call of Duty have done it in the past, and even competitive games like Valorant and Apex have grown to make their entire game revolve around specialists. Maybe the devs at DICE thought they should try it out and see if people take to this newer gameplay model. But to me, I actually loved Battlefield because it let you pick a class within a role that let you play that role with no added benefits. For instance, if you played as a medic, people relied on you to res and heal them. That was your job in the game. But now being a support role in 2042 doesn't necessarily just make you a medic. You could pick that role, but other specialists in that support class could be more effective in your squad. And it honestly diminished how I felt about the direction of where the franchise was heading. Well, that wasn't until now. Fast forward a year and some change, and I think I'm starting to enjoy what they actually intended Battlefield to be. I am not saying it's a perfect game by any means, but sometimes I do enjoy turning my brain off and going gung-ho on a point with my team. And sometimes I just want to appreciate the things we have when playing an arcadey shooter like Battlefield. Currently games like Battlebit and Squad are actually holding more people in game than Battlefield is. And that is a really impressive feat, but it doesn't really mean that Battlefield's a bad game either. People took the time to develop and improve this game as well, and as somebody who believes in second chances, I thought I would be honest about why I've been enjoying 2042. First of all, the portal mode has been getting a lot of updates recently, and that is honestly where I like to spend most of my time. Sometimes I'll take a look at what people have made it because some of the game modes people have actually made have directly affected how I wish the game was. You can play older Battlefield titles within the portal mode, then that means bringing back the old classes and role select. Ideally, this is already made me more of a fan of 2042 because it allows me to play all of the popular maps I played when I was growing up, but with a modern graphical overhaul to it. I've been just having a good time running around blowing stuff up and doing it in lobbies mixed with AI and real players. People have started creating experiences in the portal mode that actually reflect towards games like Squad, a more realistic and hardcore approach to how the battlefield can actually be, and instead it welcomes team play over becoming a one-man army. Portal mode opens the doors to anyone who wanted to make the battlefield experience into what they wanted out of 2042, and it doesn't hold back on your limits to create a game mode that you remember or you want to make for others to enjoy. I mean, besides the portal mode, there's really something out there for everyone. Team Deathmatch, if you don't really want the entire map to feel too big, Rush and Breakthrough are there if you want to have all-out warfare on two points of control, and Conquest, which is the overall battlefield experience, constant gunfights transferring from one point to another and changing the flow of combat with each point captured. DICE even recently changed a lot of the specialists and their equipment to suit them a little bit better, and some with a little bit too much power, but regardless, I can commend DICE for not giving up on the people that are actually enjoying 2042. Now honestly, I would love to see Battlefield go back to their roots and even produce a campaign in the modern world. And we might one day, but right now I'm just enjoying the game that lets me feel like I'm accomplishing something with every game that I play, win or lose. Battle passes are normally a snooze fest of grinding, but in Battlefield they've actually made it so you can just enjoy all the goodies without getting really burnt out. I actually did a survey recently where I mentioned this in the feedback. The progression alone in 2042 feels like it's in the best place compared to any other AAA game doing it right now. And for anyone holding a 9-to-5 job that doesn't really have the time to waste days and weeks grinding for a weapon or a skin, that's where 2042 is actually really strong. It's just a casual game at this point. Play when you want to play and don't stress about going after specific challenges, just do what you want and you'll earn everything naturally. Like I said before though, this isn't a perfect game nor do I ever think it's going to become a perfect game. And sometimes I can't help but feel like if DICE had made this a free-to-play game with a paid battle pass, it would have changed the course of their business model completely. But regardless of all that, that's my opinion and I don't really want games like this to fail. It's always upsetting to me whenever I see a game that I've loved when I was younger change into something that loses interest over time. I'm pretty happy to have given it a second chance because most of the performance issues have actually been fixed since launch and the game is much more fleshed out than it has ever been before. As I said though, I'm just enjoying this game as a casual player. It's nothing more to me than just being able to sit somewhere in a map and either help my team out as much as I can, or be a camper on some mountain ridge where I miss 100% of the shots I take and I die inevitably. Battlefield 2042 has been a great casual experience that offers land, air, and sea combat to anyone just looking for that. Occasionally getting a match where veterans of the series truly shine is also something I really love, because you get to see all the time, dedication, and skill outshine over you in the scoreboard. I'm just having fun with what it is right now, and that makes me happy. I hope you all have a game that you can just casually play and relax in. Gaming isn't always meant to be taken too seriously, and sometimes goofy stuff can happen. And sometimes making those moments happen can make the game even more fun. 
Anyways, I'm gonna go look for another match to play. My name is Zen, and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.